What's up YouTube? Today we're back in Las Vegas at one of my favorite places. I'm not sure that many people that aren't local know about this place, but it is uh, kind of in the downtown area. You can see Circa is right over there. The Strat is right there, so it's kind of in between. But it's called Spinetti Gaming. Uh, this is a place where you can get gambling supplies, playing cards, custom chips, gaming tables, old casino chips, dice, book, accessor books, accessories, anything gambling related or even Las Vegas related of casinos that are gone and once were, you can come here and you can check them out. Uh, their prices are extremely fair. Uh, you can just pull right up here. The parking lot is right here, available to anybody that's shopping at Spinetti Gaming. Uh, every time I've came here, there's always been parking. And the only weird thing is like the curb here is kind of, uh, it doesn't dip down like it would to let you in, like a normal curb would but it is curved, so it's like easy to pull a car up on, but you wanna angle your car. So please like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoy videos like this, I'm always going, in, going on adventures around Las Vegas and the whole country, and your likes, comments, and subscriptions are what do it for me. I appreciate you. Oh, here's their hours. Okay, so this is when you first walk into Spinetti Gaming. You can see that you get to check out a lot of different chips right off the bat. But it gets better and better as you go deeper inside, and I'll show you. It's chips when you first walk in. Dice. They have different displays. These are always changing because this could sell, and someone else could bring something else in. So it's always fun to come back and see, you know, what the new items are, because you never know. And as I was saying, this uh, a lot of the things will be like casinos that no longer exist, or if you're into history of Las Vegas, this is a great place to go. They started 33 years ago, so they've, you know, been here for a while, and you can talk to them about anything, any questions you have, any information you want to know, they'll figure it out for you. This is like a, just like random chips, some are broken, some are just, you know, whatever, just kind of like extra chips, and so if you don't want to spend a lot of money but still have some fun, you could spend a dollar, you can get seven for five dollars, and take a little piece of Vegas home with you. So there was music playing in the store, so I'm just gonna voice over the rest of this, but you can see they have, as I mentioned outside, any and everything gambling related. Generic poker chips, dealing shoes, shufflers, cases. You can see those cases are from the dunes. Um, I think I couldn't see what casino the second one is, desert something. Uh, they have acrylic chips, clay chips, they have, I mean, seriously, anything. This is, like, the hub of gambling. I think the owner of this also owns three or four different schools that teach you how to deal. One of them is in Fashion Show Mall. They have memorabilia. Uh, that's a Beatles sign plaque. Of course, for ninety nine ninety five, it's not an original signature. It's just, uh, what's, what's it called? It's like when they kind of etch it with a laser. Anyway, they have, um flags and pictures of Fremont Street, pictures of the strip, all things you could build a poker room or a man cave. Then you turn the corner and they have the cups that you would, you know, collect your coins in for the coin slots. When I say they have everything, they have everything. Um, dice. These are all used in casinos so you could have authentic dice in your gambling room if you have one at home magnets play money mugs cups visors these uh little pin these little button pins are awesome these are all original they have some from the 80s the 70s diana ross pins def jam comedy pins uh you know it's just awesome play money used in the bellagio for opening day i mean matches elvis stuff fans you name it they got it it's unbelievable they also have ashtrays from casinos some that no longer exist the funny part is uh casinos actually stopped branding their ashtrays because so many people would take them and you know ironically now the ones that were branded are kind of worth a little bit more some more mugs just any and everything you would want 
casino related, Vegas related. You could come here, you can get it. Shot glasses. And it's from any time period. A lot of this stuff is picked up from old collectors or donated in. So you really get a glimpse of uh, some true Las Vegas history. This is a dunes table used in the dunes to deal. And it overlooks this room, which has other dealing tables, uh, the clearance section to the left. All that stuff to the right was poker chips, uh, which I'll show in a minute. These are all coins. This glass case is kind of like their memorabilia case. Those are uh, guitars from the Hard Rock Casino. Like they were on the doors, the handles that you would pull open. Which, that's really, really cool. Can't lie. Um, if I had a little extra change, I, I might have to bargain for one of those. Just because, imagine having that to open a door in your house. That's awesome. These are some more really cool things. Full sets of chips. Old school chips. Uh, that's a phone from Circus Circus. Uh, one of the original phones. Look how cool that is. Looks like it's shaped like an airplane with the with the circus circus the clown logo on the on the wing. You can see the fiesta stuff right there in the back, then just a whole bunch of different poker chips, a lot of really rare ones. A lot of Las Vegas history that you're looking at right now. And we're gonna move down and you can see the plaza right there. Again, some full collector's sets of chips. And just other memorabilia. Uh, what else do we have down here? This is from the Frontier when they demolished it. A Yahtzee sign. We're going to move over to some more Elvis stuff. They have a lot of different framed memorabilia that you could just buy and place up if you didn't feel like creating your own. Obviously, that's the International Hotel, a.k.a. the Westgate, where Elvis performed and spent most of his time while he was in Las Vegas. Another set of chips right there. Men in Black slot machine uh, piece. It's pretty cool. Kind of random, but cool. Another set of chips right here. Sorry for the glare. some more chips obviously these are all just themed to different things and their whole sets chips a lot of times would come out in different theme sets you would see it a lot at christmas or different holidays um you would see it when artists would come to town and have concerts they stopped doing that though regulations on chips got tighter and it just wasn't really worth doing it anymore and this is the chips that I was telling you about that was to the right earlier. So this showcase, I mean, you know, it's kind of unfortunately hard to stop and show every single one because there's so many. But I just wanted to actually give you an idea of how much depth there is. So this is like any and every casino. I think that this is the largest collection of poker chips, of Nevada poker chips in the world. Uh, so it's alphabetically ordered and you name it, it's probably there. It's awesome. I've actually gotten a fair amount of chips here. I've gotten a couple boxing chips. And sometimes if I just, you know, want to add something to my collection, I got a Moulin Rouge casino chip while I was here during this video. Anyway, then they have a clearance section, which is constantly changing. So they have different clothes, different chips. You can get like different um, protectors for your chips that are used for a discounted price. Just really cool stuff and really unique items with great prices. A whole entire slot machine. It's crazy. Then they have like all these decks of cards. They're all used from casinos. So if you ever wanted to have a deck of cards from your favorite casino, boom, stop by, grab one. They got it. Trust me, they got it. And let's see what else all this other stuff is. They have decks of cards from the World Series of Poker. This is like kind of uh, more uh, like a sale item. That's the word I was looking for. 
So if you're not trying to break the bank, you can hit that little corner, check out a sale item. This is an overview of the store over there in the far corner where my camera's pointing is where we started. I mean, I got to talk to Don. He was super helpful, super informative. We talked about tons of great things about Las Vegas history, different casinos. It's one of the main reasons I love coming here. You can just learn a lot, you can have a great time, and you can pick up some awesome things. I got a chip from the Moulin Rouge and some pins. So anyway, if you want to learn more about the Moulin Rouge, I did do a video on that. You can check it out on the channel. I appreciate you watching. Peace.